the hidden microbe formula that supercharges your soil overnight. There's a hidden force beneath your feet that decides whether your garden thrives or, well, struggles. It's not your watering schedule, it's not your fertilizer brand, it's life itself. Right now, millions of gardens are quietly starving, not from a lack of nutrients, but from a lack of living microbes. The soil's heartbeat has slowed, and chemical fertilizers just can't bring it back. But there's a new movement among growers, a natural, science-backed breakthrough that revives even the most exhausted soil. It's called the blended microbe brew, and honestly, it might just be the last soil solution you'll ever need. Here's the truth no one likes to talk about. Most of our soil is sick. It's compacted, depleted, and nearly sterile. Every time we dump chemical fertilizer on it, we might see a quick burst of green growth, but underneath, the soil's natural ecosystem suffers. Those fertilizers feed plants directly, but starve the soil microbes that make long-term fertility possible. Over time, this creates dependency. Plants can't thrive without constant feeding, and the soil becomes nothing more than a delivery system for synthetic nutrients. Healthy soil, on the other hand, is alive. It's home to billions of microorganisms, tiny unseen workers who break down organic matter, release nutrients, and create that rich dark structure we call loam. Without them, roots can't absorb minerals properly, water drains too fast or not at all, and plants become vulnerable to disease. The blended microbe brew changes that equation completely by restoring life to the soil, rather than, you know, forcing it to perform. Think of it as a living probiotic drink for your garden. Instead of adding lifeless fertilizer salts, you're brewing billions of beneficial bacteria and fungi, then pouring them straight into your soil. These microbes don't just feed your plants. They build the soil, creating networks that hold water, improve nutrient exchange, and suppress harmful pathogens naturally. It's more than compost tea. It's a biologically active concentrate designed to wake up your soil's dormant potential fast. Traditional compost takes months to transform soil. This brew can start working in just a few days. Once those microbes establish themselves, they multiply on their own, forming a self-sustaining system that, you know, feeds your plants season after season. Modern soil biology has confirmed what organic farmers have practiced for generations. Soil health is microbial health. Each type of microbe plays a role. Bacteria decompose organic matter and release nutrients. Fungi connect plant roots to distant resources through microscopic filaments. And protozoa keep everything balanced by feeding on excess bacteria. When these communities work together, they create a living nutrient cycle that, honestly, no fertilizer can replicate. The blended microbe brew simply reintroduces what your soil has lost. It's the missing link that brings balance back using natural processes rather than artificial boosts. That's why gardeners who switch to microbial brews often find they can completely stop using commercial fertilizers within a single growing season. Here's how you can make your own batch of blended micro brew at home. It's simple, inexpensive, and honestly, incredibly powerful. Start with a five-gallon bucket. Fill it with four gallons of non-chlorinated water. Chlorine kills microbes, so if you're using tap water, let it sit uncovered for 24 hours to let the chlorine evaporate. 
Add one cup of mature compost, dark, crumbly, and rich with organic life. This is your starter culture, packed with diverse microorganisms. Next, mix in one tablespoon of unsulfured molasses. This provides the sugar the microbes need to multiply rapidly. Add one tablespoon of liquid seaweed or kelp extract to supply essential trace minerals that support microbial metabolism. If you have it, toss in two tablespoons of worm castings or a handful of forest soil to further boost diversity. Now comes the secret step. Oxygen. Microbes thrive in oxygen-rich environments. Drop in an aquarium air pump or bubbler and let it aerate for 24 to 36 hours. You'll know it's ready when the brew has a sweet earthy smell and a light foam on top. Once it's done, go ahead and strain out any solids through a fine mesh, or, you know, even an old cloth will do. What you're left with is a living microbial concentrate that's really ready to transform your soil. When applying, just dilute one part of your blended micro brew with ten parts water. For example, you'd mix one cup of the brew with ten cups of clean water. This uh, ensures you're spreading the microbes evenly without overwhelming your soil ecosystem. Pour it directly at the base of your plants, soaking the soil so those microbes can move down to the root zone. If you want to give leaves an extra boost, you can use the same dilution as a foliar spray. Apply every two weeks during active growth and once more in late fall to help the soil recover before winter. You'll start noticing changes fast. The soil will smell richer, hold moisture better, and feel softer under your fingers. Earthworms will reappear, roots will grow deeper, and plants that once looked weak will regain color and vigor. It's not magic, it's biology in motion. Gardeners who've made the switch report incredible transformations. Beds that once dried out in hours now hold moisture for days. Yields increase, pest pressure drops, and soil that once looked grey and lifeless turns dark and crumbly. It's as if the earth wakes up and starts working for you again. What's more, these effects compound over time. Each application adds new life. And as the microbial colonies expand, they begin to regulate themselves. The brew doesn't wash away after rain or degrade like fertilizer. It becomes part of the soil ecosystem. Within one or two seasons, your garden can reach a point where it sustains itself with minimal outside input. Once your soil starts recovering, you can build on that success. Keep feeding the microbes with organic matter like mulch and compost. Avoid tilling as much as possible. It breaks up the delicate fungal networks that keep nutrients flowing. Try interplanting crops so roots of different species can support different microbial partners. Every step you take toward working with nature instead of against it multiplies the benefits of your microbe brew. You'll notice something profound happening too. Gardening becomes easier. You won't have to chase nutrient deficiencies or fight constant pest outbreaks anymore. Your plants will become naturally resilient because, well, the soil beneath them is truly alive again. Chemical fertilizers had their moment, but they're part of an old system that treats soil like a factory floor, something to be managed, not nurtured. The blended microbe brew represents a shift back toward understanding soil as a living organism. It's about partnership, not control. Once you experience the difference, it's hard to go back. 
This isn't a passing fad. It's the foundation of regenerative gardening, the kind that restores ecosystems, not just yields. By bringing microbes back into the equation, you're helping your garden, your environment, and even your future harvests. If your soil feels tired or your plants seem dull, don't reach for another bag of fertilizer. Reach for life. The blended microbe brew is simple, sustainable, and astonishingly effective. It revives what's been lost and gives your garden the natural resilience it was meant to have. So, the next time you step into your garden, remember, you're not just growing plants. You're rebuilding an entire living world beneath your feet. If this guide helped you, hit that subscribe button and share it with a fellow gardener. Let's bring life back to the soil. One brew, one garden, and one thriving ecosystem at a time.